Hello everyone, welcome back to Barra Motors and to another Car of the Week video. This week, as my Car of the Week, I've chosen this very nice 2019 Honda CRV Hybrid. And I will do my best to tell you everything that I can about the system, but I can't really claim to be much of an EV or hybrid expert. I just chose this because it seems to be such a nice car, it seems so well finished, and it's always nice driving around on EV. Nice, quiet system. And this is also on really nice low mileage, under 32,000 miles. I just thought this would make for an interesting Car of the Week video, slightly different from some of the sportier and more prestige things we've been featuring recently. So my basic understanding of what we've got here is an electric petrol hybrid vehicle. We do have a two litre petrol engine that basically serves primarily as a generator for our electric battery stores and battery motors does do some driving as well when you are accelerating hard currently we are driving in the full ev mode though so we are going along quite quietly indeed and actually have yet to test out a sports feature on this which should give us a bit of a sharper response well you can certainly hear the petrol engine kick in there throttle response definitely is a bit snappier but I think we can go back to EV mode that is probably how I would tend to drive this car I think and one of the big benefits when you do have an EV vehicle is that you have instant torque and usually a lot of it meaning that your car will pick up and accelerate very quickly making them feel nippy and easy to drive around town and this definitely has that but it is also a big quite heavy car in fact it is under 1.6 tons um, which for an SUV type car doesn't seem too bad but I wouldn't say that it's gonna break any land speed records this thing especially in a pure EV setup the power that is there is very nice and smooth and linear and it's easy to manage and use and it's unlike some things like a Tesla performance for example that feels like it's rearranged your internal organs when you accelerate this is far more comfortable and unthreatening let's say the good news with this being a hybrid of course is you don't have to worry about range it will charge itself you can top it up with petrol and you're never really gonna run out of battery power unless you've also run out of petrol capacity so it does serve as a much easier entry into electric vehicles than going full EV. Now that we've got the kind of awkward topic of electric vehicles and hybrids and everything out of the way, we know what this is. We need to talk about the car in general really and what you can expect from this Honda CRV. It's actually finished very nicely in here. We've got a lot of soft touch surfaces in here with a kind of leather effect on the dashboard. The seats are incredibly plush and comfortable. In fact, the center armrest is a particular favorite of mine. That is very soft. A lot of things you get an armrest and it's give you arm ache using it after a while, but you're definitely gonna be nice and comfortable on here. We do currently have a warning that beeps every time we get to 30 miles an hour, which is quite annoying. And I'm sure it's simple enough to figure out how to do, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it today. We'll just have to put up with the fact that it bongs at us when we're doing 30 miles an hour. And if that's something you want, then great. The steering wheel is very typically Honda, which is actually very nice and ergonomic. Um, very comfortable to use, they're normally quite thick and they've got really good contouring as well so it's always comfortable to have your hands in varying different positions. This particular one's got this, I guess it would be walnut, but it's actually a very nice trim. I'm not generally speaking a massive fan of wood interior trims, but I just do think this looks really, really nice. And as you'd expect, being a modern hybrid car, this does have every kind of feature you'd expect to have. We've got radar cruise control, we've got lane deviation, we've got a plethora of controls on the steering wheel, including all of our Bluetooth and sat nav. We've got flappy paddles, should you want them. It's got a very nice infotainment screen in the middle, which is very bright, modern and very crisp currently showing us our satellite navigation but of course you can have all of your Bluetooth inputs and things like that as well in fact this car comes so well equipped for its media that it even has HDMI sockets in here so that if you wanted to play something from your laptop onto the screen then you could do that I presume I don't know why you'd want to but 
you know, it seemed like you could. We've got heated seats and in typical Japanese fashion, we've got absolutely loads of storage. We've got cup holders here. We've got sliding trays and armrest storage, which are multi-layer, huge door pockets. We get absolutely loads of stuff in there as well. And you do have a very generous boot as well as a comfortable three seat bench in the back. Sound system is actually really good as well, which is, you know, a vast improvement for a lot of Japanese cars. It does feel very kind of premium and quality in here. That's probably because we've got a nice example. We've got the all wheel drive version of this car and it is specced well. One thing in here that does feel a bit weird and may take a bit of getting used to is the fact that rather than having your standard gear selector or even a selector on the column or a dial like you have in a lot of cars, this simply has buttons. You have D for drive, N for neutral, P for park, and then a kind of pull down switch that is your reverse. It couldn't be simpler really. It's, you know, drive by buttons, just press it and you're off. Unsurprisingly, it does have an electronic handbrake, but you do still have to apply it yourself. It doesn't come on when you press park or anything like that, like a lot of cars do these days. I guess that's good if you don't want it on. And you can also turn on or off your kind of hill assist or brake hold when you come to a stop and you're using the brakes when you pull away again it will kind of hold on to the great grapes it will hold on to the brakes and make sure that you definitely don't roll back or anything like that which is just added safety features to have on the whole i think it's a great little suv that kind of sits you right in the middle of taking the full plunge into an ev vehicle and having concerns about range of course when you do kind of straddle the fence you kind of lose the benefits of both so this i feel could probably be a little bit faster it could feel a bit stronger with the acceleration if it had a bigger battery and perhaps bigger electric motors but then on the other hand you have got that petrol tank so that you know if you wanted to do long journeys in this and rely on it all the time for family trips and you don't have to plan your routes so unsurprisingly this car is ULES compliant but what does surprise me is the fact that the tax is still 180 pounds for the year you thought this might have been a bit cheaper being a hybrid but on the plus side if you're using this for a company car i'm sure you would get a lot of benefits from using this you would save yourself a lot of fees and taxes as well from what i understand you can expect around about 41 miles per gallon from this which falls a little short of perhaps just having a diesel car but Bearing in mind that you can use it in pure electric mode as well, I think, you know, that brings it back up. I think there are a lot more benefits than first meet the eye. So that is it for this video. If you'd like to find any more information on this car, as long as it's still for sale, you will find it on our website, barrymotors.co.uk. And if you have a part exchange inquiry, you can do that on there. Or if you'd just simply like to sell your car to us, then you could head to our car buying website, which is carsboughtformore.com and we'd be delighted to give you a price. Thank you so much for watching. As I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Videos like this coming every week, as well as added ones on top as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.